Like you got to be delusional to think you'd even go on the show, right? So I was feeling pretty confident. I'm not going to lie because I knew how my game differentiated from uh, Austin and Jake. So I, I was feeling pretty confident. <laughs> Hey, Dee, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thanks so much for talking with me today. No, thank you. <laughs> and right off the bat, congratulations. How does it feel to be the winner of Survivor 45? Oh, my God. I am in shock. I'm still in shock. And I'm I'm so grateful. So, so grateful. Um, But, yeah, it's very shocking. A lot of gratitude. And just overall excited, of course. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now going into final tribal council, how confident were you that you had the votes? Because you had such a dominant game all season. I, I kind of pegged you as the winner from the middle. So how confident were you? <laughs> I, I was feeling pretty confident. Like I I needed to be confident, just like going into Survivor. Like you gotta be delusional to think you'd even go on the show, right? So I was feeling pretty confident, I'm not gonna lie, because I knew how my game differentiated from uh Austin and Jake. So I, I was feeling pretty confident. <laughs> were there any votes that surprised you when they were finally uncovered who uh, who had voted for you? Yes. Um, Caleb's actually surprised me because him and I on the island, like, you know, we had the little head bump. Um, yeah. And it's been such a while. He was the first member of the jury. It had been such a long time since I even felt like I connected with him. So, you know, everyone after him, like I played the game with them more. Um, so I was able to think, OK, I, I have a feeling this person might vote for me. But Caleb really surprised me. That That really made me happy. Absolutely. And of course, you stunned the jury with your big reveal. But actually, you did tell Julie to play her idol. Had you always planned to keep that info until final tribal? Or was that just how it played out? No, no, no. I always planned to keep that info until final yeah. tribal. Yeah, unless I got voted out before. But no, I that that was the whole point, right? Mm -hmm. um, because what would that have shown of my gameplay had I mentioned it early on i i didn't need anyone to know about this move just julie and i i didn't care I, once i was at final tribal that's when i will like unleash the news and and it'll be a shock to the jury and it's in a game for a million dollars like i have to keep that a secret <laughs> now i know that final tribal is always way longer than we actually get to see were there any yeah. moments from that that you wish had aired that didn't oh that's a great question from final tribal council mm -hmm. yeah. I, you know, we got a lot of great questions and one of them was like how Survivor changed us, honestly. Mm -hmm. And it was great to see that the jury was able to ask us like very difficult questions, but then ask us also very lighthearted questions. Right. Um, so that I, th I don't think a part of that was played. It lasted a long time. Let me tell you. So <laughs> I, I also don't remember exactly like other than what was shown. You know, right. <laughs> it's all a little fuzzy <laughs> until the million. Yeah. Yeah. It's all a little fuzzy, but um, yeah, it was great. It was great. <laughs> Your other really big decision in the finale. Did you ever even consider having Austin make fire? Because it seems like a really great choice to not have him do that. Of course, I didn't consider him yeah. going into fire, just like I didn't consider myself going into fire either, because up until that point, I had played a good game. Why would I put myself in fire? Right. And then putting Austin in fire will solidify something else in his resume. Right. Um. So, no, I, I never considered putting him in fire. There's no chance he's going in fire. And <laughs> We're going to go together at that point to the end. So we already gave each other the words like very early on. So, yeah, crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I know everyone's going to be asking you this literally all day. What's the deal with you and Austin post Fiji? Ooh, OK, you're not going to like my answer, but oh. we decided to keep it private for now. Just very, very respectable. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. And it's going to yeah. be worse later, too. Everything's <laughs> happening all at once. <laughs> Honestly, probably a smart decision. So <laughs> now getting to watch the season back, were there any moments that you had clarified for you or anything that you were like, oh, okay, this now tracks what went down? Um, no, because once you're done with the season, the cast talks amongst themselves and you apologize and you say, Hey, I'm sorry for lying about this. And this yeah. is actually what happened. I've had great conversations with every single person in this cast, and we've talked openly about everything we've said about each other and be like, Hey, my bad, you know, we <laughs> all apologize. Um, but no, there was nothing that really, um, surprised me to be honest. The, the thing, the thing that was fun to watch was the final five voting. Um, just because it was just 
the craziest we were like not any of us on the same page like I think we all forgot we were playing survivor <laughs> for us <a Yeah>. <laughs> you know it, it comes down to that the stakes are high anything goes yeah. well I congratulations once again thank you so much for talking with me today thank you thank you so much happy holidays uh, thanks you too have a good one thank you bye bye y'all bye.